This is the final of the finals, the best of three finals between Pie of the People and Pizza Money, a very much a food-based final. The <laughs> tournament is Team Duel, hosted by ExodusEsports.com, with myself, The Wrong Cat, and WP Marshall. Hello there, folks, and yes, we are back on Forest between these two teams here, obviously shown their, proven their worth to get this far through the tournament. It's all or nothing for $150. Obviously, the first prize goes for 100 second for 50 I believe. And the players have spawned in on their usual spots, either side of the large cluster of metal in the middle of their fortresses. They have got nine right in the middle, four on the outskirts, and then further ones on the other tiers of their fortresses. Last time we saw this map being played, the purple team Andreas G and Burnt Custard went for a very, very early tier two vehicle factory. I have not seen that just yet. But I suspect we will see that in the next 60 seconds or so. Mm. And they have gone, of course, for double bots with vehicle follow-up. So that will be where they get their initial fabricator, I shouldn't wonder. And then a couple of air factories thereafter. Meanwhile, from the orange team, Pi Man Alpha for Pi of the People, going bots air, and then their transition to vehicles with a less of an emphasis on air. But the interesting thing is, this map, again, Trico heavy, Proximal Max heavy, T2 Rush viable. So Very viable. In fact, I'd say more than viable. I would even say recommended given yes. the results of what we saw last time because you have this cluster of nine metal extractors and you've again you've got four again very safe metal extractors right on the edge of your initial diamond you've got very very viable early eco and you can use that to build a factory without too much of a loss to your uh, your, your starting build i just saw a ping from orange in the middle of their base perhaps it's because they're saying that's where I'm going to build my T2 factory. They are building a T2 ve uh, a, a vehicle fabricator right now, so maybe we'll see it move over in that Woodley direction and queue it up. Let's have a watch at what it does. It's just come off the uh, off the build reduction line. Anything coming up? No. No. Okay. I, as, I said, as I said to you earlier, Orange were not watching the stream whilst this was happening last time. They don't know uh, quite what Custard and Andreas nope, have been it is queued. Oh. in the past. I'm it, just I'm waiting to see it. They've, they've not it, it cracked was, it out anywhere it was, near as early. It was queued for a second and they transitioned it over to it is. lots Orange. of P gens. Yeah. Orange as opposed to purple. I thought we would see it from purple. Mm. Why is it not up yet? Maybe they've decided to change things up a little bit, although I have to say, I thought it was a very, very good strategy. So having the element of surprise is not necessarily all that critical when you can just have that much eco to plow your way through. There it goes. A little bit later from purple. Actually, I oh, thought... Oh, the planes! They're so close! The scout isn't there! They don't get the scout! Woohoo! Oh! Now, don't forget, of course, neither team knows at this moment in time the other one's planning. In fact, purple have cancelled theirs. I'm not sure why. No, I'm it's, it's, it's on, it's on the it's on the blueprint. The purple have just queued it up. They realise, okay, let's get on with this now, and they're going to get both of their commanders on it, which so, are doing as well. Both yeah. teams actually employing the exact same strategy. Although I think purple actually have devoted more build power to theirs, and indeed they have more available by a couple of uh, mechs worth. Continue to expand within their own base. Got a little raiding force of docks here. They're not going to have a chance to do much because there's enough docks to defend against that quite happily. And that factory is half complete purple already. And Orange have just finished theirs. So we have got the Tier 2 vehicle rush. It is real, folks, on Fortress. Um, it's everything to play for, really. It is. It's It's going to be a slow start. But when the T2 gets out, it's going to be a slugging fest of epic proportions to finish off this tournament. Now, I wonder if either of the teams are going to bother trying to expand onto those very treacherous expansion points down in the middle there. I found that last time, the last time we watched this map, in this tournament at least, the, they just got constantly raided and they never got a chance to pay for themselves. They were constantly spending metal on fabricators and expansions, not getting anything back for it. Mm. I think the thing with the expansions on this map is they're all sort of stuck in the middle, kind of almost goading you on, saying, you know, 
come and get us. You know you want us. But they don't necessarily need them because they just have so much metal in their bases. I mean, look at Purple's economy, and that's without going beyond their borders. That's it. And they've not even started on their tier 2 max. They have only just got one constructed now. And look how much build power they've got going into more metal production. They are absolutely soaring into the lead with that metal. Uh, mm. Meanwhile, Orange, Orange hot on their tails, sort of, though. Orange not putting anywhere near as much build power into it, though. They've just got a couple, they've got one fabricator and one commander building them. That, yeah, but look at Orange. Options. They haven't managed to get their T2 going in quite the same fashion because look at the economy. The efficiency is not as great, and it's actually been trailing for quite a while now. And do they get the scout? Did Purple get the scout? Yes, they did. They saw that the T2 was up. And they know that that is a thing. There is so much build power going on to this metal right now. Like, all purple are doing is just economy, economy, economy. And they're going to keep doing this for the next minute or so. Get all of those metal in the middle upgraded. They've got the tier 2 power gen, which I think is the critical difference between the two. I don't see a tier 2 power gen for orange team. Mm. I think actually that is probably absolutely key. Because having the metal so far ahead of your energy... It really isn't actually healthy because it means you're tempted to spend more than you have. And running out of energy is a very bad thing indeed. And easily avoided. Yes, meanwhile we do have a small engagement about to take place in the forest. Huh? As forces briefly clash as they move in their separate ways. Perhaps we shall see purple defense mobilize there. Yet yeah, they do decide to re-rally themselves slightly. Bumblebee's coming in though, they will be able to mop this up, just the two of them. There's no anti-air in there whatsoever, there really ought to have been at least one spinner. Uh, otherwise you just open yourselves up for, well, annihilation quite frankly. Yes. Astutely put. <laughs> yes, I think that's, I think that's an, uh, a worthwhile word using, you know, considering you know it's the name of the game. <laughs> so we now have all of the tier 2 mechs on that little cluster of 9 completed in the purple base. Look at those economies, look at how many dividends that has paid for them. And in all of that, they haven't even sacrificed mobile unit count. They're ahead in fabbers, they're ahead in mobile, they're ahead in factories. They're ahead in absolutely every way possible from a numerical standpoint. Yes. Now, it remains to be seen how they convert that into an absolute uh, dominance in the battlefield, or indeed whether they're able to at all. Orange are hot on their heels, building more metal extractors in their base, expanding more factories. They've got a tier 2 factory in themselves, churning things out, units stationed all around the base. They haven't expanded, though, within their own fortress to finish off all of those mechs, or rather they have, but they've oh, been successfully raided oh, and they've not rebuilt. Oh, hello, new crush. Oh, wow. That hello. is thing. That is... <laughs> huh. Well, they've got all that build power. I guess there's no reason not to. And if they can dump that in the middle of the orange base, on top of all those metal extractors, that's their economy gone. It's so heavily focused, so heavily centralised in the centre of their base. A single nuke just takes out everything. Oh. And that is the one weakness of this strategy. What have you found, Marshall? I'm, I'm just still revelling, and I was just going along with what you were saying. But the thing is, they purple just need to defend and keep this nuke from from being seen by orange. Do orange see it? No, they don't. All Orange are trying to do is attack, but Purple have to defend this. They have to keep that nuke a secret. The launcher is almost finished. I'm going to keep that in picture in picture, actually. That's, that's too That'll good, be done so. in a minute. That will, they'll be, that nuke will be off that silo in a minute. They've got a lot of build power on there. They've got both commanders and uh, two advanced and two basic fabricators. More advanced fabricators actually coming to add more fuel to the flames. Ooh, it is going up very quickly already at 5% within a second. That is uh, astonishing. That's going to go. Uh, That's, there's no way they're going to stop that. They yeah. can't even build the anti in time. And they're going to drop that right in the middle, take out all of that economy, and then Orange just don't have a hope. They do not have a hope. 30% already. <sighs> wow. That's astonishing. A nuke before the 10 minute mark and not including spawn times. What is this? What meta is that? <laughs> Where is the meta? Why do we have no meta, Marshall? So outrageous that it made me sneeze. I don't know. I think in 2v2, it's because there is no meta in 2v2. Meta exists in 1v1 because that's predominantly what people play. But in scenarios that people aren't predominantly playing, there is no established meta. And it depends entirely on the planet. And entirely on whether you can respond and be proactive. Oh, Purple's power, though, is struggling somewhat. Doesn't matter. Nuke's done. <laughs> Not quite. It's still Not got 50% to go. 
Yeah, that's Luke's done. Power's off. Doesn't matter. But, but look at all the T2 <laughs> factories in Orange's base. If they just oh, they just the nuke they in can't the middle. Use them. But what is it, what uses a factory with no eco to power it? And the nuke's ready. The nuke's ready. It's done. Luke's done. Luke's gonna get launched any second now. You watch. Just go. Just launch it. No time to press lose. The big, press the big red button. Go on. You know you want to. The crucial factory is oh. Come They're on. Deliberating. Don't do I it. Know exact, I know exactly where I'd put that, which is smack bang in the middle of those metal extractors. Uh, there it goes! Blimey! Ten minute nuke! This is going to be absolutely beautiful. They're going to see this, and then they're going to just think, wait, wait, what? Which way is it coming from? Ten minute nuke. Here it comes! You can just see it coming over the horizon there. In a 2v2! I cannot believe we're watching this. A ten minute nuke. That's going to go smack in the middle. <laughs> Pie <Pie-Man> man surprise! <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! And look at that economy. Look at that economy right now. It's just been... Lo they lost 300 mechs in a wow. single nuke. A single that nuke! That is just astonishing. That's just, All those factories they've got are now utterly Oof. useless. They cannot do anything with them. That and you know what? Was nasty. I bet there's, I bet there's another nuke on the go. There yep, is. another one coming. Pros That's don't it. scout, hashtag. <laughs> 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 I just... yeah. Wow. That's quite something. Do you think Orange can come back from this? <laughs> um... no. <laughs> no, I do not. I think... that they're, they're trying to. Bless them, they've got a... The first thing they've done is they've put a new fabricator on there. Desperately trying to rebuild those mechs, and my god, do they need to? All those factories offline? No, they're online. Their economy really is be. fine. Their economy is fine. Yeah, but they've got like nothing. They've got no units. They've got no factories to build more. Meanwhile, they've got 200 metal coming in, and purple are sat there with nearly 500. <laughs> and they've got another nuke in the in the in, in the barrel. Uh, not quite. They're not. It's, they haven't. They're not rushing not quite it down. As much yeah. They've not put as much build power into it because they're now doing other things like attacking the now defenseless base. <laughs> well, I think defenseless is not okay, quite not true. But they've built an anti nuke, which. Yeah, oh, that's no, the thing. They can't. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing with the, them not building the nu next nuke quite so rapidly is that they give time for that anti nuke to go up. But that said, if they can get Orange to spend all of their now very limited economy on an anti nuke, they've won anyway. Mm. <laughs> that was quite a final decider. That, that's uh, uh, if, if Orange can pull this out of the bag, then my goodness me, they deserve more than a hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, the anti nuke is going up, and it's going up faster than the nuke is. With the silo at twelve percent. Does that come with a? Does that come with no, a missile included? It doesn't. doesn't. It? That's what I thought. But the anti nukes, I believe, are cheaper than nukes. They are significantly cheaper than nukes, as they ought to be. Yes. Frankly. Um, I suspect that that anti nuke will indeed be completed before the nuke. But again, they're forcing Orange to spend their economy on that. And meantime, obviously, they're not powering all of their economy back into the nuke. Oh dear, we're about to see more eco problems, mm. more eco woes for Purple. Well, I don't think it's going to do too Are much they... damage here. If they focus their fire, then maybe there'll be some more worrying. Because docks just don't do enough damage against the T2 mechs. This is true. Yeah, this is very true. They should have done more damage than that. They didn't focus their fire. They just sort of got uh, sandwiched quite quite satisfactorily, in fact. The the, the, the nuclear race is real. The anti-nuke silo, 60%. Next nuke, 65%. Oh... They've got they've got a such a task on their hands to try and pull this back. I I I I'm just I, I'm really rooting for Orange right now. I really want Orange to pull this back because no one should be treated like that. That's just me. <laughs> well, you know, after that nuke, they have already re-established their eco. They're back up to four hundred as they were bef pre pre but uh, to, but pre. The only reason that they've done that is by spending eco back on it again. They've had to buy mm. it all twice. Yeah, but look at that anti nuke. It's flying up, and the next nuke is not going to land where that anti nuke is. It's already at thirty percent. The next nuke is merely at eighty five. So yeah, oh. the anti nuke is is real, and now purple need to deal with this. They do. Uh, to be honest with you, they don't. They've already dealt with it by making them spend all that eco on an anti nuke and rebuilding their mechs and mm. destroying everything they hold dear to them and their families and loved ones. 
Purple just need to be aggressive now with their forces and try and take out that anti-nuke, but we do have one there. I think the next nuke, though, would be good if it hit here. I would agree with you. Having those factories taken out of commission would be a very wise idea indeed, but uh, frankly, Orange just need to build more factories again. And they're currently, it looks like they're focusing all of their production within the protective shell of that anti-nuke launcher. Again, very wisely indeed, in my mm. opinion. The next nuke is ready, it's on the launch pad. I don't think they want to launch it before they get the scout, because I think they realise, hmm, they probably have an anti-nuke launcher. If we actually look at... scout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slammers versus Docs, I wonder how this is going to go. Oh. A spaghetti they're really fight, to transition strats, away from Docs. Docs, Docs yeah. At this stage in the game, um, they've got enough heavy, hard-hitting units that Docs just aren't doing the deal. So, we saw a new nuke rush, we now see this. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, they what, see it. They ping it. <laughs> <laughs> Have they actually scouted that? Oh, wait, does that my show up as a, an no, interplanetary yep. weapon, doesn't it? That shows up as an interplanetary weapon. No, it doesn't. Unit cannons are not interplanetary weapons insofar as they don't come up on everyone's vision. They did have some fireflies that just went and oh, suicided. Oh, that will, that will be... And they also scouted the anti-nuke as well, importantly. Yes. Yeah, they did see the anti-nuke, and they saw that one missile was ready on the pad, so... So they will not be launching that nuke until they have found a way of dealing with that, like, for example... Well, they have two on it. the pad now, actually. They, <laughs> purple, ooh, they, they just need to consolidate their forces. They have so much T2 just sitting around in their base. I, I, think suppose that that's I think they for thought the they were going to win. Yeah. They thought that was going to be an easy win after they dropped that. But actually, they've given Orange enough time to rebuild now that they're going to have to fight for this. Yes. Which is good. I really am rooting for Orange now. I shouldn't be. I should be supporting the Realm guys. But I, I just, I really want Orange to win. I want the underdogs to come back and show them that <laughs> treating people like that is just not on. <laughs> it's not good cricket. Oh, dear. I don't know what, what, else, what else have purple got up their sleeve at this point. Let's have a little mooch around the base. They've Just... they've 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 got umbrellas to deal with the uh, unit cannons. That's wise, very wise actually. I think they need to transition to heavy air again. They've got a lot of interceptors, but they don't have the bombing capacity, and there are storms there. But if they just get their rid of that anti nuke, the next nuke hits yeah. two comms. This That's all true. they need to do. I can't, it's easier said than I can't done, believe that but... they've actually built a unit cannon. I just can't quite believe that. What's wrong with it? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, after everything else that's happened on this godforsaken map, yeah, you're quite right. <laughs> Proxy teleports try to go up. Oh, yeah, that'll be it. Just build an orbital launch. Just send an orbital fabricator around and just drop a teleporter in the middle of their fortress. <laughs> Perfect plan. They pinged a comm, they pinged a second comm, they know where to send their unit cannons, so now the game is in Orange's court. The ball is in Orange's court. But there are umbrellas. Oh, the will... nuke's off! Where's, Where's it going? I think that's going exactly where you said it was going to go, Marshall. This little row of factories right here. They, they'd better place they're following this... It up with, they're following it up with planes. They had better not be in range of that anti-nuke or they're going to have issues. They know where the anti-nuke is, they'd have been daft to put it in range of it. Yeah. Yeah, good That's placement. It. All those factories. Bye bye. Good placement. Following it through with planes. Oh, they we see a Manhattan. Are you serious? What is this game? Bake your pudding. <laughs> Manhattan. What is this game? What? Oh, if they spot that, you know what's going to happen, don't you? They're just going to bomb the Manhattan in their base. <laughs> they just flew all their air over, over the flak. flak. Hey, it's a legit strat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Unit cannon is fully loaded and ready to be launched, so... I wonder if they've scouted and seen how many umbrellas they have, though. Yes. <laughs> no what launch is yet. This this is, I, there I we just... go. Oh, oh, it's going. What? The unit cannon. There we go. Right. Oh, but look at this force, though, in the other side of their base, as they launch the unit cannon away yeah, from the defence. That, that's... They were oh, dear. Against that. Yeah. Now, watch these they have the Manhattan! Stuff. They have oh, the no, Manhattan! They haven't, launched them. they haven't launched them next to the things. What? They've actually built the Manhattan? They've got the Manhattan! <laughs> they've got it in the base! <laughs> Please kill the Manhattan in their base. <laughs> Just to punish them for... What? What the... What is this game? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't think they're taking this seriously, you know, Marshall. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what gives me that suspicion. Really, have they not got any pelicans to carry it? <laughs> you can't carry it in pelicans. Oh. oh, the teleporter though. The teleporter though. Yeah. That's what it was for. They just need to build the second teleporter. <laughs> or just leave it sat in their base so that it can be picked off by, by levelers. That's a real oh, possibility. Dear. That thing dies in their base and they've just snookered themselves. Yeah, they need to get that Manhattan through there and Look fast. at the economies! Yeah, they're floating so hard. Oh, oh, they're, they're gonna defend with... Are they? No. They're going up for the north side this time. <laughs> oh god. I wonder where... Um, I wonder I wonder if they're gonna be able to land that. They're probably gonna land. Down goes the yep. anti-nuke. And there's two Manhattans in the base! <laughs> oh no. Oh this isn't, no! This isn't... Mistakes were made. Oh no! Mistakes were seriously made, Orange. You have made mistakes. <laughs> you should not have Manhattans in your base with this many enemy units nearby. Oh, it's going to be not so good. Not next to your commander. <laughs> not next to your both your commanders. <laughs> and the Manhattans are such. <laughs> no, they're moving in. The teleporters, they're going to trigger. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This no, could be no, disastrous. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's still alive. They would have No, not for long, it's not. That's the it. The second command is... Please, it's oh, amazing. You can bolt it up and put it in a Manhattan <laughs> and send it to someone's base. Or just leave it in your own base, whatever you want to do with it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is the most spectacular final I think I have ever had the privilege of casting. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Ronka? I'm we break absolutely you? fine. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was um, that was <sighs> something. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged to announce that the winners of the team duel tournament, in the most spectacular fashion possible, is Team Pizza Money, Andreas G and Burnt <laughs> Custard. Um. Yeah. That is all. <laughs> that was a game. That 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 was a game. That was definitely a game. Oh my goodness me.